Okay. Now there could be two types of spherical mirrors as we saw earlier. One is a concave mirror and the other is a convex mirror. Now when we write center of curvature, radius of curvature, pole and principal axis of a spherical mirror, this basically means that these spheres or these mirrors are actually a part of a full circle. So in order to understand the above terms, you first need to draw this full circle of which this particular mirror is a part. Okay. Now let's take them one by one. Center of curvature. Now basically center of curvature is nothing but it is the center of this sphere rather sphere is this complete circle. This is actually the center of the sphere of which this particular mirror is a part. So this point let's call it point C is known as the center of curvature. Okay. Similarly, let's assume this is a sphere and this is the center, call it C. This is again the center of curvature of this particular circle. So it's the center of the whole sphere of which this particular mirror is a part. Okay. Now what is one point that you have noted? The center of curvature actually rises in the front side of the mirror in case of a concave mirror whereas center of curvature in a convex mirror lies on the back side. In both these cases the light falls and the reflection and everything happens on this side. Okay, this line dotted line side is actually the back of the mirror. Then comes the radius. Now radius is very simple. If you join the center of curvature with a point on the mirror, okay, this will give you basically the radius of curvature. This is just like the radius of any other circle that you might have learned in all your classes in mathematics till date. Okay. Now the next point is the pole. If you see the center of this particular mirror, this is known as the pole. So for this mirror also, this point which is representing the center of this particular convex mirror is known as its pole. Okay, and you can denote it by point P. And the principal axis is formed by joining P and C. So when you join this point P with C, P with C, what you get is basically the principal axis. It's the principal axis over here as well. Okay. So that's how you basically denote various terms in case of spherical mirrors which could be either concave or convex.